So this is my brother's gaming PC, RX 470 and E3 1270v2, yeah, IV Bridge Xeon CPU. This is actually an, uh, an 1155 motherboard, just a normal one, but it's like EATX and it's like for servers or something. It's like super cool. Got the TX850 too. So my brother has a pretty sweet system right here. Uh, you can tell it's his because it has a Pornhub logo and a uh, wireless Xbox controller adapter. So he doesn't have to plug it in his controllers with a cable. But I replaced the stock Intel cooler with this behemoth because it was getting pretty hot. And that was pretty hypocritical of me because now it's still getting super hot and it's running everything super slow because of that. Because I think this cooler being from an, a 775 system, sorry, even older, I think it's not getting proper contact with the actual CPU down there. So it's causing it to overheat and it's not like killing it because, I mean, it's huge. And by the way, we also got 32 gigs of RAM in this. So in a lot of ways, this is better than my computer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out and see if maybe that's not the issue and I just forgot to put it on thermal paste or something. And I'm going to see if I can fix this because this is a nice computer. It, I mean, come on. It's, I'm literally making it so easy for him to use. It's got Wi-Fi, like this Wi-Fi card plugged into this PCIe X4 slot. Kind of strange. Or 8. I don't know. You get the point. I'll get a screwdriver and get to work. Now, I found a screwdriver that's long enough, and if you notice a big difference in visual quality and hopefully audio quality, or at least a difference, good one at least, uh, that's because I now record my videos on a GoPro Hero 8 Black. Yeah, I know it's not for this kind of recording, but I can use it for this too. <laughs> I'm going to start recording biking videos again, so that's mostly what I got it for, but... God, I love seeing what it can do on this because it's not half bad. And I found a screwdriver good enough for the job. But, okay, that's where that plugs in. Three pin, of course. Oh, sh... What? That's what happened. The thermal paste was pushed over. It's not that I wasn't getting proper... Uh, maybe I wasn't getting proper contact, but uh, at least I know the, na the main problem was there was no thermal paste on there because it was all pushed over. Um, what do I have to clean that off? I definitely don't need any isopropyl alcohol, but... God. And if you're wondering what thermal paste I'm using, it's just Noctua NH... Uh, NTH1 or whatever, three and a half gram tube. It's nice, good stuff. But it's not good stuff if it's not on my on my CPU. God. Well, that's good to know. Because thermal paste does make a huge difference. I think that should be obvious. Otherwise, you wouldn't put it on your parts. But, okay. Kind of sanded <laughs> aluminum base is clean. CPU is obviously clean. And it's the same thermal paste, so it wouldn't make a big difference. Um, okay. Yeah, I think this should be good to just mount right back on, really. Okay. Let's actually mount it evenly. Maybe that's what caused it. And just in case, what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to... Let's see what I can find. I'm going to use maybe some kind of card, Amazon. Spread that shit around. Perfect. Yeah. 
I usually do outside the socket, but it shouldn't be a problem. This isn't the most elegant looking thermal paste application, but it's nice. I also have Premiere Pro, so no more editing on iMovie because believe it or not, my previous camera, my Galaxy Note 10 camera, is not that bad. So just because it looked bad on the 8800 GTX video doesn't mean it's actually bad. It's just iMovie compresses the hell out of it. And hopefully I won't have the same issue in Premiere Pro, which I definitely won't. You know what? I don't want to make it perfect. I can just put a dap extra. Yeah, has an IHS. It should be okay. All right. Let's put this back on. And I have to actually put the cooler on in a strange orientation because of the awkward position of the RAM. So... Plug in the fan header to one of the literally 90 fan uh, header location spots on this motherboard. God. Is that good? I don't know. One way to find out. Yeah, this is the right way I had it. I was so scared when I got these adapters to get this cooler to even work on an 1155 motherboard that it wasn't gonna fit because I had it the normal orientation and it just wasn't working. But as soon as I flipped it around a couple times, got it this way, worked perfect. Well, it, you know what I mean. <laughs> Tell me if you like the kind of more real, less fake style that I'm recording this video and like not as much editing. Um, I kind of like it. And it shows, it shows me messing up. So if I watch back on the footage later, I can be like, oh yeah, I was an idiot. So I can learn from this too. Hope you like the ghetto mounting system for this fan. Okay, let's see if let's see if it gets any improvement. So welcome to my uh kind of home of computers. Yes, it's in my living room, and that is because I don't have a room yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure I shouldn't tell the full story, <laughs> but okay. Got the power into the computer, switches on. I know it actually boots. Wait. So that's not a worry. Okay. Look how beautiful that graphics card is. Here we go. Let's get something out of this. There it goes. It takes a while to boot. That's normal. 32 gigs of RAM, see I don't lie to you. <laughs> okay, why isn't that USB port fit in? Just, yeah, a weird, a weird part of this computer. It must be something to do with it being a server motherboard. This is Windows 10, but it has like a Windows 7 loading thing on it. Like I've, I did a fresh install myself, so I don't know why it's doing that, but Whatever. Sure. <laughs> Gotta steal a mouse from this. Hopefully the quality of this video being so good is literally keeping you guys from exiting and getting bored. I hope that's what's happening. Okay, Windows is loading, always does this. But what it usually did 
is it load things like super slow. By things, I mean the actual operating system. And I'm not surprised that's taken a while to actually load it up now. Like, that's normal. Um, uh, <laughs> what's the password again? I'll be back with you. In case you had hope for me that that would have worked, you shouldn't have. So what I decide to do is I put these brackets on the other side of this uh, little mount here to make it closer to the CPU because as you see, it like barely touched. Like there's only a little piece of the thermal paste on there. So I'm getting there, but it's gonna take a bit. Now I'm gonna try installing it like this because as you could expect, what I just tried doing, the same effect took place, overheating CPU. But hopefully this will have a different effect. On there, feels like it's actually on something now. You know, ne you never know. I don't know why Noctua, being such a good brand when it comes to stuff like this, would make adapters that make the CPU not even touch. Like, I don't know. It's a weird combination. It's a old CPU cooler on a server motherboard that could be... I don't know. I really, really doubt the CPU is any lower than it should be. That would just be retarded. I, I feel like I just put the mounts on a, on the wrong side. Like, I don't know why it would be like that because they're shaped like they should go on like I put them, but you never know. Well, maybe I'm about to know. Okay. I have hope. Okay. So I got the computer hooked up, just as it was before. Look at that. 29, 28, 25. Perfect. I cannot... Ah, oh, you do not know how relieved I am that I got that piece of shit working. God damn, I, I love this computer and... Oh, I can actually use this thing now when my brother falls asleep. Okay, well, Windows is still broken. That's how I started looking into this issue, but damn. Okay. I, he's going to be happy. I'm so proud of myself right now. Wow. Would you look at that? That's all it took. Shit. Well, <clears throat> I guess that's the end of the video. Subscribe unsubscribe, like, dislike, get out of my channel.